And also something I noticed, once again, watching a lot of 90s movies, especially dark 90s movies, like like this and The Crow, um, and to some extent, The, the Cable Guy, um, I really enjoy, like, pre-HDR movies. Because <laughs> nowadays, when it's shot in 4K and they have, like, perfect HDR cameras, you don't really get, you know, the, the deep black, you know, darkness that you got in movies before like when they're when they're walking in shadows in this movie it's black like yeah that's not that's not realistic um and hdr does really show like all the details your eye can pick up in the dark but for a movie like this when they're in a they're in a dark situation and they're moving through shadows to stay you know stay hidden to have uh, all the shadows be complete like ink black you don't see. There's no detail in the dark in the in the shadows. I think that works. Like, yeah, it's yeah, not realistic, it, but it's a movie. It's not supposed to be realistic. It I mean, represents them not being able to see everything because they're also focused on on like what's actually in front of them. They're not looking in the shadows because they don't have time for that. Yeah, so and it's not. Don't, I don't, you don't notice all the details when you're being chased, so you yeah. shouldn't see all the details. And I'm not saying that's like something they deliberately did. That's no, no, just no. How dark shadows were in movies back then. But it, it always works in those movies as well. Because it, it always it always makes you focus on what's actually in front and center. Yeah. You don't look at all the fucking details that are so meticulous nowadays. Yeah. Movies aren't... And that's also... I'm going to have mean, to bring it up. It's uh, not bad, but I like when movies have details. But sometimes sure. you need to focus on the main thing. The main character, the main issue, the main problem in the movie. Yeah. And that sometimes you need a bit of a tunnel vision to be able to do that. Yeah. I mean, it's supposed to be an artistic rendition, an artist's rendition of reality. Yes. It shouldn't all Of a situation in reality. Yeah. It shouldn't just always look realistic. No. Which is Um, why we watch movies. Because why would we watch movies if we can experience real life all the time? Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> I I know I noticed whenever you know there were shadows in the movie, and when, you know when they're hiding out in the in the the cargo uh, uh, train cart, yeah, with, yeah. The, with the hobos, and like you could only see what was actually lit up, like the eyes of the hobo. You didn't see his mouth, which is you... why all the other hobos showing up was a complete surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was cool, and we don't see that nowadays because nowadays, like, sure they shoot stuff in darkness. But cameras are so good that you know they still pick up details in in the darkness. Yeah, and that's more real. Like I said, it's more realistic, but that's not always what you want. Imagine. I mean, if that's also a thing I'm worried about with the slightly going back crow. to the crow, they're going to shoot that with modern cameras. You never, you're not going to get those deep, deep blacks. I mean, unless the edit, unless they really go for it. But I don't think Rupert Sanders is like we re- we need really deep. Black uh, shadows. I don't know if it sounds like Need that. To. In my head, it sounds like that. Like, it's, it should be Need more... to add back the darkness. Yeah. No, he's just gonna say, "Oh, shoot it with the good camera," and then yeah. Is every... he British now? Yes, I think he is actually. <laughs> he um, switched. Uh, and and everything's just gonna look blue instead of like black and white, like yeah. the original. That's what I'm scared of. And like a movie like this would it would like this goes a lot in like. Uh, sepia tones or almost brown tones yeah. and then of course black um, with all the shadows would it would just look it would it's it would look neutral to be honest yeah it would look very washed out yeah uh, if it was made today yeah you need the contrast contrasts of the like the yellow street lights on their faces yeah contrasting the the darkness of the shadows behind them it looks cool yes like I said, it, it almost made me like, man, I don't, I don't want a, an HDR screen anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to like, hey, tu- you can get tube my, TV. You, you can have, you can have my old computer screens, and I can take yours, you can switch. Because even in the like the remastered Alien, I barely saw the Alien in the darkness. Sure, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> my screens are kind of sucky. <laughs> um. Yeah, but that was just a little a little thing I noticed and I wanted to bring that up.